thing. I don't know. I was there to tell the, the county there was a lien on it. So. Luckily, the, the mayor called the county, and my daughter heard about the address. They said, that's your dad. And she went across and got the, those liens that were recorded. That's why I find out, thanks to my daughter. Yeah. I work for Kepi well, Why do we have those liens on that property? Uh, it was clean up. Yeah. Yes. And my daughter went and she found those and gave me copies of everyone. Like I said, I was not aware. So. And you cleaned up the property? I already cleaned up the property, it. yes. Uh -huh. And it's more clean I have to do. I'm just here to see if it can give me some kind of deal. My wife gave me a blank check. 50-50 okay? Huh? 50% okay? I got okay with my wife 50-50, yes. <laughs> well, that's what we've done in the past with uh, yeah. some other properties. So. You need a motion for that? Yes. I'll make a motion. So second. And I can leave the check today. I got it with me, so you tell me what. Then we'll go 70-30. I got a check. Well, thank you. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. Right. Before I leave, I'll give you a check. Okay. Thank Each you. one of us? <laughs> I only got one check. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Hello. Hello. I am Benny Crisp. I am the president of the missions department for Missouri Southeast Third Jurisdiction. And I'd like to present a letter to the city council tonight on what our missions department is up for if you pass that down. Yes, sir. Uh, what we would like to do for Kenneth. Okay. I also have a church located at 403 South Life Pass in Kenton, Missouri. I'm the pastor. Kojic World Missions, taking God's love and gospel to the ends of the earth. Bishop Vincent Nath Matthews is the Kojic World Missions president. Missouri Southeast Third Missions president is myself, Benny High Chris. The mission that I would like to present to you tonight is Missouri Southeast Third Missions is to help direct the future of those who are entering society after homelessness, imprisonment, or for whatever reason, and restore individuals who may have lost hurting souls. Missouri Southeast Third is seeking to follow God's will by providing assistance with regaining the will and desire to live meaningful lives through gainful employment, positive self-esteem, and clarifying values on building a successful life through love, compassion, and the Word of God. We share generosity in efforts to affect positive change. Um, I myself have been renewed for just this reason. And I am affiliated with members of our church in Pakistan, Africa, which we help. And those third world countries, Australia, all over the world, we're helping people. We should help our people right here in Kenya because there are hurting people. I am in the process of adding a youth department at our church, a homeless shelter, and I hope to have it up and running by next year because I'm dealing with individuals now who are homeless, hungry, and need spiritual, financial help. The Bible tells us to do it naturally first. So when we try to help people all around the world, we tend to want to, we tend to forget about our own people here in town. And there are suffering people right here in town. Our goal, Missouri Southeast Third Missions Department hopes to improve the quality of life for individuals and their families 
that are seeking spiritual guidance as well as assistance in employment and other needs. Missouri Southeast Third Missions Department is seeking partners who are willing to support the missions department. The word says, Luke 14 and 23, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Bishop Nathaniel A. Ellis is our jurisdictional bishop here in Kennet. I have been selected as a hub for the mission department from the national church. That is to say, if we ever come across any national disaster or we're hit by anything that would put someone in real need, that they can come to not only our church, but other churches and other people for assistance. So we're looking for partners who are willing to help us. And if you look at the list, take upon donations, if possible, financial, or product goods, dry goods, canned goods, toiletry, clothing, and bottled water. These are not items for ourselves per se, they're for people that will be in need. And with it becoming Christmas time, believe it or not, there's a lot of people in need right now. I get phone calls all the time when people are asking me, well, can you do this, can you do that? Well, I would like to do it, but most of the stuff that they are needing, we don't have. So I have a facility our church is big enough to store these items if they're donated. Walmart is already getting ready to partner with us. I'm waiting on the, the EIN number so that we can get our 501c3 and they can donate some of these goods. We'll go on a list with them. But even though we're waiting on that process, I just want to present this to you all and let you know what we are aiming to do. We're getting ready to go into a new year. The name of our church is New Covenant Ministries, Church of God in Christ. I am the pastor. The first lady is my wife, Angela D. Crisp. She's also the financial, she's a purchasing agent for FCC. They also help us with donations of some sort to help people. And we are just looking for partners to help us store some of these items in case we ever fall into a national disaster, which I pray we don't, we, we never do. But there's no, no problem with being ready, you know, and being prepared if it does happen. So the World Mission Department is helping people throughout the world. Our mission department, we want to help people within our city and our surrounding neighborhood. Where's your church located? New Covenant Ministries Church of God in Christ. No, where, what's the address? What's the 403 South by Okay. I did bring some cards with the address on it. The service times as well too. through trying times right now we're getting ready to have uh, another president I won't say who but we uh, we pray that God will put the right person in there to govern and to, 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 to run this country so that we can all come together black lives matter all lives matter in God's eyes and what we're aiming to do is help the future our children are coming up and we're going to leave here one day well we we just decided not to leave here
the way we came. We want them to be better than we are. So we're looking for help from business owners, property owners, anyone who's willing to help us help them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here I am again. <laughs> Good evening, City Council, Mayor mm -hmm. Wayne. So, first of all, I want to thank the Laura Ford for what she has done recognizing my wife and all the things that she does for the city of Kennedy as far as our seniors are concerned. So I want y'all to keep her keep her in your prayers right now because she's going through a few mental problems right now. But my main reasons for being here tonight to commend the city council for the work that's being done in the streets. It's like you mentioned in the Everett Street and St. Francis Project. That is a bad area and I'm glad to see that we're making some progress on that. As well as some of the outlying streets in the city. But my main reason for being here tonight is because I have a personal problem with dirt bikes and speeding up and down my street where my wife can't get any rest. And this is ongoing all hours of the night. We've got dirt bikes running through all of the stop signs. We've got them running all up and down the street disturbing everybody through all, like I say, through all hours of the night. So I come here to ask you all to see if it's possible to put a four-way stop at the corner of Baldwin and North Street. Now, all of those side streets along this area have intermittent streets where the, the signs are put in at different locations. Some of them are running north and south, some east and west, but they're, not, they're all problem areas on my side of town. And my neighborhood is beginning to complain about it. But unlike me, they don't want to come to the city council because they feel like their voice is not being heard. So just as I told them, just as I am here as a concerned citizen and have no aspirations for running for council, so I'll put that out here right now. <laughs> because of my wife's condition, I'm not thinking about it. I had mentioned this to the mayor. I had thought about it. But my family and my religious belief comes first. I don't believe in mixing politics with religion because they have two different items. And my son is going through this now, running for mayor of Groveland, Florida, in the county of Lakeland right now, being a full-time pastor. And I have to definitely let him know that politics and religion are not good bedfellows because there's a compromise that has to come in, and I'm not the type of person that's going to compromise my belief. So that's basically why I'm here to see if I can get you all to put a four-way stop not only on North and Baldwin Street, but any other outlying streets that we have here. In the black community, which you all have known in the past as uh, Kennet Heights, the stop signs are not readily there available for us, for us homeowners who are down there. Half of my street, the side that I live on, we're all homeowners. We're all elderly, long in the tooth. And the other side, as you all know, belongs to Matt. So I don't have any problems with Matt because Matt has gotten his side of the street in order. But the, but the proceeding blocks on down toward the end of Liberty Street is atrocious. Something needs to be done to stop all this traffic. I've got muscle cars running all night long. I've got dirt bikes running up and down the street. I've even got parents of these individuals standing out, holding up cell phones, taking pictures like it's a game. That's not good for the city of Kenneth, and it's not good for the residents who are paying their taxes here in this town. So this is the reason why I'm here. As I say, as a taxpaying citizen, I'm going to come to the council meeting because I'm concerned with Kenneth, because Kenneth is my home. I'll say this every time I come. I've been here for 38 years. I could have easily gone back to Florida, but I, my wife and family had a need for her here. And this community had a need for her here. So I'm going to stay. And I'm going to do everything I can to try to straighten up my neighborhood. I'm not going to run for council. So, Kent, don't worry about me now. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, don't worry about me now. I, I, I would encourage you to run. Yes, I know. <laughs> but I, I have to think I, about I, my family situation. I have a question for you. Yeah. Good. So, 
you all just keep me and my wife and my family in your prayers. And uh, as Pastor said, I've known him for quite some time because he had rented from me at the past too. And he's a good man and he's trying to do what he can for the city of Kent. But we've got a few things in the work for my own pastor. I think she's talked to uh, Bob Hancock about some things that we want to try to implement here in Kent. And uh, hopefully one day she'll be able to come down. I don't know whether anybody knows her background or not, but she is a, a councilman in the city of St. Louis as well as being a pastor here. So I'm pretty sure pretty soon she's going to contact Mr. Hancock and probably a few other members here of the council to implement this pro project that she wants to also bring here to Kent. I'm sorry that we have lost Pizza Hut and also that we're losing Hardy's now. But this is just a sign of things that are coming for our community right now as far as employment for our next generation coming up. Because there's a lot of our kids out there right now that are lost, don't know what they're going to do. And this COVID has not helped them any. So this last graduating class and even get an opportunity to graduate in a proper way where they can look forward to their future right now, our kids being at home, taking classes online and with this situation going on. But I'm going to be prayerful about all of this. I don't care who gets in the office. I just want the right person to be there. I'm an independent voter. So I'll put that out here right now. So it doesn't make any difference to me being a former military member who my commander in chief is as long as he's doing the right job by our people. So right. with that being said, I'll let you all enjoy the rest of your night. And I've got a question for you. Okay. Presently, are they stopping at the stop signs that are there? No. Okay, so I ask that because our first route is to probably look at the police, yeah. and that means <laughs> the is going to happen. Well, is there a certain time of day this is worse or oh, better? Or any time from noon till, till after midnight. I guess it's the ones that are, I don't know whether they're attending school full time or they're going to school half days or whatever, but it, they always seem to want to crowd up. Are they young kids? Or they oh, young? these are high school and some of them are, I, I don't even want to call the name because this person has been known to the <coughs> committee for quite some time. It's the same area, the same people. Same so, house? Same house. So, I, I you give us. Mm -hmm. It's the you, same house. Give us a chance to. See what the police department comes Look up with it. and what they well, do. Well, I'll be, be totally honest. I've had a little peace this last couple of days because I did come up here to the police department. You are not here, and I've tried to come to the last couple of meetings with, but, but with uh, the, the, the mm -hmm. deaths that we've had mm -hmm. and the meetings being canceled, I've talked to the dispatcher, and they let me know you all are out of pocket. But uh, I don't like to put our officers under all this unnecessary stress of running up and down my street every five minutes every time we got an issue going on. <clears throat> I think this stop, this four-way stop will be of some help to curtail some of the traffic that we got going through there. And Chief and his staff have been doing a great job as far as doing what I've asked them to do to protect our neighborhood. So I have to give him accolades for that. But like I said, with us being short staff and officers right now, and uh, not knowing what the future of the city is going to be with this covert virus going around, or how long this thing is going to be in effect until we come up with some kind of vaccine for it. I don't want to see our officers be put into any more harm's way than they have to. It was just like uh, Ms. Price was saying about the, uh, the canine situation. I've got dogs running loose everywhere in my neighborhood. I'm glad to see that something was in the Democrat concerning finding these people about them now. And I think that's the best issue. If we catch them, find them. I don't have cameras up at my house, but I'm seriously considering putting them up so I'll have some evidence because any time an officer show up, they've got just as much technical knowledge and equipment as you guys do, so they get on their phones and they <laughs> give everybody information everybody disappears, so when you come down there, you don't see anything going on. And then as soon as you leave, it's a game again. So. I don't want to put our officers into that much stress to have to keep coming through my neighborhood and then they get down and there's no activity going on. And then when it's over with and as soon as darkness comes, as they say, the freaks come out at night. <laughs> so, and this is what happens. So, I just want to get some sleep. I just want my wife to be able to get some sleep because she does get up and do a lot for the community in the mornings. Despite her health condition, she's not going to stop. But I would like some assistance in this to give us a four-way stop. 
to try to curtail some of this activity. We will definitely take a look at it. Could you do a traffic count? We can do one. See what I don't know do. that we've done it in that area. We can. Oh, yeah, we, you're at North and Baldwin? North and Baldwin. Yeah, we can do one. Get that going and yeah. at least we'll have a better yeah. idea which street and all that. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. do one over. <coughs> Part of this is, is there's a lot that goes into putting a stop sign in. You'd be amazed. I have no <laughs> idea what, it's it's a took, what it takes to put a stop sign in. It's almost like an act of Congress. Uh, we will definitely take it. It won't be an overnight fix, but we will definitely look into it, put the traffic counter out there, look at it all. And it, it takes a minute, but we'll definitely look at it. And this is, people don't know, I mean, this is how you get stuff done. You come up here and say something. You can gripe about it at home, not saying you do, but people can gripe about stuff at home all they want until they let us know. We don't know. I had no idea there was a right in the neighborhood. It's crazy. It's the same I do thing. know the number of calls we're having down there has dropped a lot mm -hmm. as far as the activity you had there for a while. Yeah. Well, that's because they know I'm watching. I don't work. <laughs> I'm at home all the time. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. I understand. Yeah. You know, so, thanks for thank coming. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Keep you. us filled in. All right. Y'all have a blessed night. Thank, thank you, sir. Okay, can we do that for the other week, you think? Yeah, we can. Is two? We change it every Monday, but we can we can go change it tomorrow. We can put it in where we want to. We'll change it tomorrow. Put it over there. Start start count. And we'll do some more patrol over there and try to catch them. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anybody else for uh, public comment? All right. I know we do need to go into closed session, so uh, we need a motion to go into closed session. Motion. 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 A motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.